Hey, what's up guys? It's Hobby News Plus and man, do I have a really interesting thing to show you guys today. So for anybody who follows me, you might have saw my video yesterday where I had a pretty awesome mail day and I got this card that I'm about to show you yesterday through eBay's authenticity guarantee. Um, was pretty happy with it. The packaging came in pretty cool. Um, I'll show you that. And then I got this package today, which is the same exact card uh meaning same card different serial number but you'll get the idea i'll show you in just a moment now these cards don't just meet the ebay authenticity guarantee minimum which i forget is five or six hundred dollars so if you don't know this when you sell on ebay you basically uh if the card is over i believe 500 uh might be 600 please excuse me i forget exactly but it comes with this authentic without a doubt and then they basically have to get sent to ebay somebody at ebay a third party looks at the card and they basically you know okay is the card authentic or not and so on so this is yesterday's card and this is what she showed up in the mail uh, yesterday. This is how it showed up in the mail. I will show you. Um, and so what I was going to say is both of these cards, or it's the same card, so it's actually um, over a thousand dollars. So this card is worth a little over a thousand bucks and this is how it showed up yesterday. So when you look at the, um, you know, packaging, the card is in the card saver. Corners are good as far as like, you know, strap down. Um, only gripe I have on this one, um, well, two gripes. I'm just not a big fan of these card savers. I prefer top loaders. That's just a personal preference. But how are you going to cover the serial number of the card with the uh, authenticity sticker? So you actually cover, I don't know if you can make that out, but you can barely kind of see the uh, serial number there so that was one thing that i was like okay i'm not a fan of that but overall you know i don't know not bad right it comes in in this hard case um which protects it it comes in the box which also protects it so this came you know pretty decent for a substantial price a substantially priced card for anyone uh, unaware this is a oh wow you know what it's not even full look at that i didn't even notice that Look at that. It's not even fully in the penny sleeve. This is not okay. This is not okay. Like, why would you do that? Who is managing the people that are packaging these cards? Because I have to tell you, like, time after time I've uh, received these and it's just, there's always something. Now, wait until you see this. So this is the second one. Um, and just to show you, let me pull this out real quick. Um, I don't want you guys to think I'm joshing you or, you know, making up these stories, keeping these boxes and uh, doing a, a story uh, later down the road. Okay, so here is the uh, first one. Let's see how I find this here. Okay, so the date is right there. So estimated delivery, what is that? Four, six or four, eight. All right, and so these are both boxes. I want to show you. And then uh four eight i believe so i ordered them the same day so they were supposed to show up the same day um and when i say i ordered them i bought them on ebay on the same day so this one showed up yesterday the one that i've already showed you guys and now check this out really guys really guys are you serious? Like, this is a $1,000 card. I mean, it's a little bit more than that, but this is a $1,000 freaking card. That does not happen in shipping, okay? That does not happen in shipping. These cards are so freaking condition sensitive. It's not even in the penny sleeve. It's a quarter inch or a half inch out of the penny sleeve. So now when I undo this, and just to show you guys, I don't know if you can see, but I have not touched this. You can you can see that that's not, you know, voided or, or it says void of damage or whatever. So look at this. Not only is this card a quarter out, a quarter inch out of the sleeve. Again, they cover the entire serial number on a card that is serial number to 99. I'm not sure who's responsible for the quality control. I mean, I know it's only a thousand bucks, right? It's not like it's a million dollars. I get it, but it's important to me. And the quality, uh, I should say, the condition of these cards with the foil is so extremely sensitive. Now, just taking a quick look, you know, in this um, in this case with the wrapping on and so on, it looks to be okay. 
I really, really, really doubt that the person who sold this card sold it and sent it to eBay, you know, in this condition. So, you know, same card, two different days. This one is literally like barely out of the penny sleeve. And this one is sticking completely out of the penny sleeve. It's basically like this is not even covered. If I take the team bag off, this authentication, uh, authentic, whatever it is, the bag, um, this card is like literally exposed. So really, really, really frustrated. Um, I'm considering returning this. I need to take it out and kind of look at it. But then if I if I open that, what is it voided? Like, I don't understand how this is benefiting me when I'm receiving thousand dollar cards in the mail that have this type of packaging. So. I really hope that eBay does something about this. Um, this is a very common occurrence, and I can say that more than not, I receive these types of packages and get something along this line. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, this card is uh, for anyone who is uh, interested. This is a 2016 uh, Marvel Battle Spectre Gems. Um, this is the first year that they did the Battle Spectre Gems, and these are numbered to uh, 99. So wanted to share that with you guys. Tell me what you think. Uh, really frustrated with eBay's authenticity guarantee at this point. Might consider returning this card if there's any scratches or, or you know dings or anything on the surface. But I need to figure out if if opening this and actually looking at it is going to you know does that void the guarantee? I mean the serial number is the same. So really really frustrated. Do you? you have any experience with this because i'd love to know um share your thoughts guys if you have any experience if you've been through this have you contacted ebay um should i contact ebay i'm really um very disappointed and a little confused so any feedback would be appreciated thank you guys so much for watching the video please remember to subscribe it would be super helpful if you did and uh, stay tuned for more videos like this everything to do with trading cards uh, marvel cards wrestling cards i basically love everything so stay tuned for more videos just like this thanks again guys talk to you later